the day with enemy esports versus the number one gravity right now it's a big game for gravity as he he also told them there's a pink ward here oh man move is playing some uh teleport as well the ward placed behind in what between the ninja. turrets they're going for otter now the no escape on that Kogma, Body Drop says, sorry, bro. And Body Drop may have even stayed a little too close. Flares is here as well. The teleport from above, actually, because they thought they could actually come back out of this oh, fight. Kobe, it's not looking good. Not for enemy, it's not. And <laughs> Flares might be able to get out. Move oh, comes move back to visit, returns though. for the fight. He didn't go. He was chasing Body Drop the whole time, is able to come in and help a little bit. Got another flash. And a little bit of movement oh. speed they're able to give each other. Does save those two. Was able to do that with the Avarice Blade as well. Didn't even get to see the prep for that. Move, makes, move makes another gank. Level four Haunter does get the Twisted Advance to set up for that gank. By the way, for laning, if you're just going to be laning, you don't... Uh-oh. Just going to a pink ward here. No! Ah, the old pink ward bait there from enemy. Adam. The enemy can reach that faster than they're looking at this point. Gravity already making moves. They're gonna slow down those core items once again. The teleport coming in. Like clockwork here, going on to Otter once again. He's been down twice already in the game. Gravity has three kills. Everyone on average, besides the junglers, are 2,000 gold down and the supports. Ouch. Yeah, two it's to so, 3,000. I mean, you're like, okay, they need to make a really desperate play, but look at this, your solo laners getting 100%. Oh, it got him, stunned on the third, it's gonna go! Oh, he, he, oh he goes down! They got the kill! Minions OP! Takes it in. That was a solo kill for... But they're actually oh. gonna give this one up a little bit. Goal side is now given over to Gravity on the Dragon. An enemy wants kind of the re-engage on the fight here. Ooh. Oh, they got move. Is that enough? Bunny Fufu right in the middle. That's the heal disperse coming out. That kind of helps them. Gives everybody time to reassess the fight. They'll poke in all tech shots onto flares, trying to get some assists from the dragon here. What a dance we have. We need to check out dragon DPS after. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, they've had enough. They go in, move very, very low. So is Haunt, so the charm actually hits all tech. Full HP, but he's able to jump out. Keen's into the fight. He was never oh! really a vector. Keen coming up with a triple kill in the Sam Soldiers. And he gets away from the Akathian surprise with shifting sands, which actually gets his buddy. Oh no, I'll take live. Yep. <laughs> or they are. They're just waiting for the rest of the team to go down. Nice trying to get effort it. here. Power and numbers here coming from enemy. Trashy over the wall. Re stealing this would be absolutely gigantic. A little bit of a Whoa, pause button on the game if they could. There. Trashy, Trashy over, goes. tries to hit it. It's gonna be smited. Oh my God, it actually goes to Flares. The smites don't even come through. Both junglers out, with though. the jitters. Flares cannot get out. Trashy can. Haunts are trying to find a target. Blasted over the wall. Actually, Trashy, that was a body slam. He didn't get burst shot. <laughs> they took it down real fast, Cody. That's that was right. Real fast. Altec now onto the inhibitor. Is he his focus with the rest hey. of the team fighting? Keen a three man Emperor's Divide as he's shifting Sands down towards the Nexus turrets. They're still gonna live through this one. Oh, Keen gets zapped out. Flares is gonna go down here in the eventual fight. Oh, move too? Big damage. No. <laughs> oh, move goes down. This a little bit too much of an antsy dive coming in from Gravity, but the guys that need to focus on the objectives are, and Altec made sure to get the targets that he needed. Inhibitor down, Altec still focusing with the team. It looks like he went out to see if he could take down Flares as well, just outside the base, but now they're back on the Nexus turrets. It's gonna be quite a bit of time here for the spawn of the rest of the members of Enemy, and they will be on the ground. They will not 2-0 oh, Gravity on the split. Gravity will take the 1-1 in the matchup. And in 37, 38 minutes on the clock, Gravity takes down Enemy. And right at that average game time. Got him, perfect. <laughs> Going to follow Team Dignitas onto the rift as they take on Cloud9 for our next game. Duo roam up to try and get that speed boosted Rengar ultimate for the Oriana play that we we're looking for, but Helios! Woo. Quite a few flashes. High still gets into a bad spot here. That's the shockwave. Gamsu throws down the cataclysm and flashes out. Helios forced the safeguard. High thrown down a few, but he doesn't have his ability maxed out to get that lockdown on his bola. Maybe now they hit it on the shifter. More follow-up damage. Gamsu back in with a flag and drag once more. Helio still trying to fight, but they're all way too low. And they baited each other in. They miss it. But the oh, command move. Able to take it down with Lemon's hit on the Q as well. Beautifully done by Cloud9 to keep scratching.
kind of favorite champions to play. He feels the most comfortable. We've seen him making plays on it. Incarnation's been struggling this split. Might have to hold that thought. Oh. Kind of sneaky. Fates call goes out. Oh, I don't know if they knew that Helios was there and the rest of the team being ready to party, but still Ren down Kiwi Kid. The rotation now coming in from Incarnation in the mid lane. Looks like it'll be a little too far off unless there's a re-engage. High walking over a pink ward. He's going to see that. So this is just a walk in. Maybe the turret, maybe the dragon. Starting to feel bad for Kiwi Kid. He keeps trying to make plays. Yeah. He keeps dying for every hook he lands. He keeps landing these hooks, but putting himself in harm's way. Helos gonna get dove. Oh, knowing that they have that Kiwi Kid down and not at the turret. There's not enough to stop Sneaky from jumping around. Not a good crowd control to lock him up. Oh! And they're able to get another kill. High actually goes down, getting a little too hypey himself there in front of the turret. They may be thinking about it for the next one here, but we're also a few core items more powerful, so it may not matter. Gamsu still rooted as he goes over the wall. High is able to pick that one up, I believe, with an extra bola. Just thrown right over. Uh, the Karma lane. And I actually did as well in the LCS, but uh, Sneaky said he didn't really notice the effect of it. <laughs> he usually just has Lemonation say, oh, hey. Oh, never mind. We got in the game. Oh, hot damn. This is going to be a big Ooh. one right on the high. He's actually giving a bit of health back. Can he alive. keep himself alive? The double kill coming in for Incarnation. One for high. They're on the core. JJ, it's going to be the dodge out as well. So the kill goes into Sneaky, and they look for Helios, but he's already got enough of a gap to keep himself alive. How the hell did high stay alive? The heals and shields, my friend. Summoner heal, Oriana shield, Karma shield and heal. The roar. So that's another reason why I really don't, uh, I really like that high build full damage on this Rengar. They have so many defensive stats that they can just give him armor as well as well. Okay. Oh, wow. The kiting they're doing as well with this You're composition, done. being able to tether with that le with Lemon Nation's karma we've seen. Everything providing so much catch or disengage. We saw the disengage and then the catch. Everything in that last fight, Cloud9's bringing to the table. 27 seconds on to Dragon. Now they start pressuring on the first inhibitor turret. We're going to have a split from high in the bot lane. Gamsu's in the top with teleport if anything goes wrong. But I'd say it's already wrong. Helios is going to go down. The inhibitor falls. And Gamsu's still staying in the top lane. They're trying to get some global gold, hoping that they can stave off just this inhibitor for a while and get themselves back into it. It is a risky play. I usually do a dish. <laughs> my, as soon as I said numbers, my initial reaction was, oh no, don't say any numbers. Oof, enough numbers to take down the HP bar of Kiwi Kid. He's not even that big yet. Only a ruby on top of his sight stone for that HP. Not many defenses across the team. Shifter's gonna get taken out by High. Rengar's back in North America, and it's in the hands of High. A quadra kill for Sneaky as the rest of the team is just on point. 18 to 1 as they go up against Dignitas. Sub 25 minutes, they're on the Nexus turrets, and they're going to be dropping them down. Cloud9 now on to the Nexus with Fury this game. Coming out of the gate strong, a lead the entire time, and Cloud9 are going to take down Team Dignitas. Their first victory with High back on the team. Stop the, the slide. High from the jungle, able to put up a lot, deterred by a red steel in the beginning. <laughs> Not so much. Not, Not so, so much. much. So we'll see what happens as we get into the game. Remember, with everything picked now in the Champion Select, be sure to weigh in on this match. Send hashtag TSM win or hashtag TL win to at LOL Esports. We'll check in with the fan vote shortly. We're about to get ourselves into game, everyone. It is Team Solo Mid versus Team Liquid, our game of the week. And we're about to be on the rift. The crowd is ready. The players are ready as they take one final deep breath before getting into this matchup. Which, it means very, very little. Uh, the big part is the denying it from Bjergsen. Oh, there's Lesboy going in for the taunt on to dominate that as Maokai's over the rim. Oh, Piglet and Expecial from the back line there, already where they need to be, completely deleting Santorin and Lustboy very quick. It's the retreat right now for Nate. No. Yeah. <laughs> that would be quite a while. Aaron making too many moves. A lot of defensive warding as well from TSM, understandable. Tyrus, though, gonna have to flash here. It's special follows He it. still hits it with the outside of Tabers. Tyrus puts on the Vengeful Maelstrom, and it's only to stay alive a bit longer. But Liquid's able to pick up that kill, and Phoenix also gets a piece of it. Turtle should be able to get bottom turret for this, just because he's a Jinx left alone at, a, at an outer turret. My question is, what will... Ooh, there's the question to answer. TS, uh, TSM gonna have to answer this Baron 
Turtle's coming up, also watching to see if the rocket comes in. He's prepped the bottom turret to fall due to minion damage. And it looks like Turtle will hold it. The team's Ooh. also trying to retreat here as they trade damage. Back nice onto Baron. Back onto a special. They may be way too low to do this. 3, They're chancing the 50-50. This is the moment they seem they've been trying to stop, but now have fixed themselves into. That's Turtle a big bit. explosive cast. Turtle gets one. He's on the side of Baron, which could be dealing damage to him, but Baron actually deagros the double kill for Turtle. He hits another rocket. Dyrus out of range after coming up from being dead. The Righteous Glory, the triple coming in. No, Pearson picks up kill number three is this now their baron yes it is rib yes it is tsm waiting for the one team fight once again and team liquid handed to them on a silver platter they start up the baron just because turtles bottom you are not late game yet this is only 26 minutes in you can't burn through this baron an 80 carry being bottom oh, oh my god he stole it <laughs> comes up with a big one steal Uh, all right, Rip. So the plan that I listed before of win a team fight, grab Baron, then push in to win. Triforce, that was finished and perfectly. Two kills went over to Piglet, Team Liquid. Dancing on. Whoa, Righteous Glory nice initiation. Right now, as they're in front of the second tier turret, Lust Boy a little too deep. The soldiers are just able to shred through a good bit of damage to come back from Turtle. The crits are hitting. There's the Inferno rocket, but not much can be done. Mega Death rocket, rather. Two levels to the 80 carries. Whoa, whoa, it's special. Going in very hard. The TP's coming in. TSM trying to assess the fight here. Dominate hits it. Phoenix puts himself into a shifting sand. Alive. They bump everybody back and line them up against the wall for DPS here. Quas getting out at just the right time. No, taken down by Bjergsen, but they're going to be able to finalize this fight. Everybody's running a lone sapling to put some slow down and give them an exit. A three for two. All right, well, TSM regaining positioning on mid lane, but Dyrus takes a half of his life in magic damage. <laughs> oh, this is from the other side. Quas is right on the chompers, so not an immediate initiation. Depth charge over, pops up to Lust Boy and Dyrus, both in the air. Dominate, Dominate, very tanky. It takes TSM a long time to kill him, giving the rest of Team Liquid to start firing down. A double kill now coming in for Phoenix. Piglet also getting a double kill for himself. They're looking for Lost Boy. They don't even need to find him that's, to get that that's kill. That's easy, Baron. That's going to be Baron, and it will be Team Liquid's second of the game. Dragon's up in a minute and 45. It will might still be a contest for that, but they're happy to get this and push the lanes. Yeah, let's... The only question is, how many turrets can they get out of this Baron? He's got that frozen heart for you. I swear to God. All right, well, let's see if they can chase him out here. TSM. Get caught, Bjergsen. Oh, Bjergsen, the shields are there, the heals as well. He tries the flash, but it's not enough. Goes down immediately. 60 seconds on the clock now. It may not be able to be handled once Team Liquid gets to the turrets here by TSM if everybody keeps falling. The outpost is set up here. Oh, it's closer and closer to home, too. That's yeah. when it starts to hurt. They delayed the long enough for Baron to fall off, so at least they aren't Baron empowered minions. But they have no Bjergsen, so they have no wave clear. They have no team fight presence. They're going to try and make a last stand. They go right past the turret. Wild Turtle is the focus. That's the DPS. They're looking to get out of the fight. Like you said, Kobe, those first three picks not providing a lot of damage they for TSM. Under turret. Turtle's still alive, though. That's where the damage is they coming from. He double kills over onto Phoenix now after Dominate. Possibly a triple onto Quas. Cleaning that one up would make him nice and big. But that one goes over to Dyrus. Piglet gets out alive with expect Very bad. TSM as well, trying to get this on fight. Quas. Quas, a lot of damage. Lust Boy is taking a little bit more than he would like to. Bjergsen finds the ball in the middle, but nobody's going to circle around it. And they're on to Bjergsen. He's got to call the ball back. Does he have enough time to shockwave? Oh, he does. He got it. Big damage onto Quas and Dominate. They could be canceled out. Piglet still in the back line, though. Emperor's Divide puts TSM exactly where Liquid wants them. The double kill for Piglet. Phoenix comes up big again mid-fight to set Phoenix it up for the, the team. Phoenix just won the game for Team Liquid Every right time. there. Holding the Emperor's Divide for the right moment, allowing Shockwave to happen, using the ultimate at the right time to separate TSM when they think they have the perfect re-engage to get back in the fight. There's way too much time on the tower. The clock's coming in for the spawns of Team Solo mid. Team Liquid coming up huge. It was not the late game fight that thwarts them this time. They're able to take it to Team Solo mid. Piglet, a savior of this game in the mid game. Team Liquid take down Team Solo mid.
And that continues with Team Impulse versus Team 8. Now, Team 8 actually are feeling a bit of a Soto, though. Trying to zone out Apollo. And right now, actually, we really don't have Adrian helping anybody out. So Apollo, what? He's just like Valkyrie on his own side of the base. Oh, but Cali. Impact's going to find Cali Trolls. Cali Trolls choosing to fight because he's got a shun on his team. Flashes to get him in a range. Impact, it does Focus. not have Flash anymore. Power to the oh, oh, cast. Poor Big one plays right there. Teammate, knock him down. Kelly just chose to fight that. He knew it was okay. Yeah, they actually, teammate yesterday, got first blood against TSM. They were able to snowball from there. Is this another one of those opportunities? There's it's no a flash on impact. Flash oh. this rise, and here comes four champions. As soon as Dodo Zolt's back up, another play is created behind the turret. Nothing for impact to do. What a good, good game. Little crack in the armor here. You go for Golden Glue, Dodo and Kali show up. Oh, big play though. The jump on Nian. The globals are down. That was the other big part here. Nian's going to die for this one. The Globals have longer cooldowns than other ultimates, so they can't always show up. Of course, a big play by Adrian, and now you've got to be careful with your Shen here. Kelly's full shield is on, and the end is in the fray. Rush Impact in the not rush. in range yet. Rush is looking for a kickback. All right, is Rush going to find the play? Action. His Q will get onto a tank only. He finds Gragas, does not go to the play, gets gold carded, gets oh. locked up, a big burst of damage, stun hits Xiao Wei Xiao. They trade jungler for support for top lane, and now kills Impact. going back and forth, but Impact hitting everybody. Dodo forced to run. Rocket's gonna land a double kill for Apollo. That fight went 4 to 2 for Impulse. That 4 to 2, and they're gonna get this turret off of this as well. Thank you. But can't all right. Even, can't even go through the shield. This is a bit of a risk. Of course, the entire team could show up, but the rest of Impulse are here. The call is to go kill the Cali Trolls. The all back. five were there. He's forced to flash, but guess what? Adrian says hello. There's the headbutt. Pulverize soon to follow the taunt. Cali Trolls going to get charmed in and die. Impact, his second kill of the game. But you need him and your main force to be a big threat. Oh, God. There well, apparently, go. Xiao Wei Xiao can do it. Zonia's Whoop. and Shenel used. Here's the ulti on Xiao Wei Xiao and the re engage. Golden Clue. Blue card. Blue card. Burst damage. Knocks him down. Porpoise gets the kill. Dodo, though, really low. Gets picked off by here yet. Rush. And a second kill comes through thanks to Apollo. Kali Trolls rooted in place. And that's a three for one in favor of Impulse in a fight that teammate chose. Kill everybody. They showed up earlier with the longer route to get there. Yeah. They had to go around the jungle. Oh, Anchor misses. Rush, though, rooted up, takes a fair bit of damage. There's no real good TP spot into this fight. Yeah, well, he's going to the starts it anyway. Five and Dodo five. just chunked at the start of the fight. Goes down. Apollo cleanses the taunt of the dead Shen. And out goes Rush. Kelly Trolls off the flash. Rush going a bit aggressive. He wants the fight, and the end stays alive. Go to lose a kill. Rocket goes too early, does not catch Shadow Shadow, but Impact is here, and Impact is angry. Impact's getting some kills. A double kill over Golden Glue. Keeps the fight a little bit closer. It's a two for three, all said and done. So, as a general point, there's an interesting thing here because in TIP's eight wins, or I'll talk about it in a second, Kelly Kelly Trolls Trolls is dead. dead. So is Dodo, maybe. Trying to run away, in comes Rush, he goes for the kick, gets the end into the wall, but it still means Dodo dies, and the rocket gets tanked up by the entire front line. Three quick kills picked up, two of them by Xiao Wei Xiao himself, and out goes teammate here. Baron steal or not, it just doesn't matter. Impulse ready to rush up the gut to win the game. 40 second respawns inhibitor already dead. They don't care about a Baron steal. They don't care about anything. They're looking for the end of the game here. Playing to their strengths, looking for the charm. Ooh, both charms come through. Both flashes, I should say. The QSS comes in. Golden He's Blue Force to die. Dead. Goodbye, Adrian with the kill secure. 2 1 and 15 for him. Apollo 7 0 oh, and 10. Still 100% kill participation. Perfect KDA this game. A great play overall from him as a player. And that's going to be Impulse with their back-to-back 2-0 -back weeks, five in a row. And these guys have moved up to final matchup. It's Counter Logic Gaming versus Team Dragon Knight. Has his wrapping around them in the bottom. Okay, this it's is an Alistar. The attempt here. They have to, I think, go for Afro because Rosanna's going to be too hard to get. They're going to put the flash. At the back. Pulverize in. Oh, he flashes then jumps. That might just be enough. Exhaust on Kez. It is the kill. They knock him down. First blood for Emperor. Beautifully executed gang. Oh. Uh, just in general, he would uh, attack, tumble, auto, condemn as his trade oh. duration. Here comes the Here's the gank into the top, and they want Seraph. Ulti is on, but he's got nowhere to go. He's just choosing to fight to clear minions away. Here comes the long run out, but that's going to be the kill picked up. Zion Spartan gets it. This match is going to be even better for CLG. Next game. He's like one of those big, like, <laughs> non aggro NPCs that, like, runs around, like, Orgrimmar or something. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, the ones are up in the Emperor's business. The stealth doesn't matter, but Kez is right there. TP's They've coming from both coming. sides. A big combo and a Poe Belter who does have to burn his flash to get away. Here's everyone in the fight. The fish is going to miss. Hits nobody at all, but Kez still gets chucked down. Tristana gets the credit for that one. Sarah from the front line cutting back, and here comes Ninja. He does have ult and ignite. And here comes the chase down. Finds nothing. 
has been solid. Bot lane turret goes down. Good siege and good destruction by Devlift. Good charm, though, by Ninja. A lot of damage on a pole belter. Ignite is on as well. He's got four more ult charge. That's going to do him in. Solo kill for Ninja from the brush. Jumps on him. Makes sure he lands the charm. Every single Ari ability landed. They get to hit this turret a whole bunch. And Smithy with his 325 oh, move speed. Oh, that's another big charm. Smoothie doesn't choose to go oh, in for it, but he has ulti. Kes, There's finally the pole Kes prize. Low. But Kaz gonna get dropped out by Doublelift. They were too gun shy to pick the kill up, and too much damage went over to Kaz. Well, but it makes me a great killed. frontliner. DDK has killed no Smithies this game. <laughs> that's Look true. Look at first, their bot lane lost their Smithy already. Ah, Zion Spartan though, oh. going for the shark on a Seraph. This is it. Come, and they're doing a lot of damage to the poor guy. He's got really no resist. Ignite is on. There's the jump. The kill goes through. Yes, it does. But Zion's got to run away fast. And here comes Ninja. Jump over the wall. Thank the Q's going to catch him. Uh -oh. hut, hut. Got him. Ninja with the cleanup kill. Assist does go over to Seraph. So a little bit of gold picked up there. No, I, I, can't, I can't even talk anymore. Can't even talk. Oh, because they're, they're coming after Zion. Oh, Zion's heavily charmed, but perfect pulverize. He can't even do anything about that one beautiful play here by TDK. In comes the teleport. Seraph does not have flash. <laughs> Make it happen. Tornado pulls him right back. The way. But right now, Warriors. Oh, oh big play. Oh. Ember cancels around, though. Goes for the they big don't have damage. damage around. Wait oh, for Smithy. Smithy, goodbye. Crushed by the AD carry. This fight did not go well. Kez happened to be around, and Emperor doing plenty of damage. Low ish cooldown. So we'll see. The first dragon does come through to counter logic gaming, though well earned by them. Maokai had teleport in the top lane, but no pressure was made by TDK. They instead go back for the mid lane. CLG once again already there in time to defend. Righteous Glory pop the fight by start. They've already forced a TP out of Maokai. Whoa, Afro 2 4 4 picked up at the very start. That's a turret kill. They did not TP Zion. He knew not to be part of this fight. A flash engage. They catch Smithy. Two kills picked up. Seraph taking the turret like Salami, and they're going to run away as fast as they can. Afro. Already dead. Pobelter, very low explosive charge, nearly picks up some more kills. As, as total gold? It's local. Ah, okay. Oh, hold on, though. Kez, gold oh. carded. True deck, everything. Boop. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's killed and smoothie in a bad spot as well. Ulti's down. Flash up. He's not going to use it. Pulverize comes in angrily. A double kill for double lift. 4 1 and 0. And they're right on top of Baron. That was a severe misstep for TDK. Counter Logic Gaming here to capitalize. Just a catch out onto Kez and then the resets to allow them to get the red buff there and then just take him out afterwards. Another steal? Another steal? Is it? Is it? No nope. team secured <laughs> Baron Nasher. Zion is low. Forced to hop away. Gold card. I didn't Good know lead. that damage reduction worked against true damage. Uh, but in this case, I believe it does. But here we go on in. Public down to half. Gets the. Zonia's popped after Zonia's. the AD carry. Ninja's around. Afro very, very low, but Kez pushed around. The Roots come in. Double gets one kill. He jumps in. He gets the kill and flashes and jumps out, but he burns down to the Ignite. Uh -huh. Now he lights uh -huh. the back up. It's just a two for zero. Blue team forced out, but both teams are here for Dragon. It's Dragon number three for TDK, number two for CLG. And they do have the flank, so Counter Gaming cannot leave unless TDK lets them. They look at Smithy, but he's the tank. It's not going to be much damage here. Righteous Glory popped as well. Same for Smithy. He pulls Seraph into the back line. There's a turret here, by the way. Smithy's got to be Bo a little bit careful. Bo Belter, though, is going to die before he gets to Zonia's. The charm meant everything there, but the hook comes back in. Seraph losing a lot of health. Smite comes in for Kez just to clear minions away. Charm will not land the shark. Will, though, Seraph's going to jump in. He dodges the shark damage. Flashes out. They get the pulverize. They look for Smithy. Double gets one kill. They Whoa. trade back, though, and he's going to get another. Double if charmed by Ninja, but Zion's partner is here. Another duck comes through, and Double if this time gets it. He gets revenge on the Ari. The flash knock of Seraph's got nowhere to go. Kez either. A double kill for Fizz. It's going to be one more for Double if it must be. It is. The ace comes through for CLG. And Zion Spartan without TP, though, is bot lane, which is a small risk here. And they might catch double lift. He's over the wall. And he's going to land he's a whole bunch member. of damage. Oh, no, double lift. Pulling a double lift, getting himself caught out. Afro the same. Big mistake by CLG. And Baron is live. TDK are going to pick up a Baron here. Now, what CLG is trying to do is just get Knock this mid turret. Down. Get some type of turret for this. See what they can do. Smithy's going to try to go for a hero steal here, but it's a Nautilus. If he just waddles up and takes this, it would just be a disaster. Chance. They're going to back. Are they going to be able to defend this? It doesn't look like it. All right. Mid lane inhibitor turret will fall. Okay, Smithy. That is it. Yeah, Smithy waddled up, but he waddled up way too slow. Emperor gets another one. Three kills in a row for TDK. They've got time to push these waves out and maybe get part of a turret. They're looking to either... Yeah, they're looking oh, to try to cut them off. They keep throwing the RIQ backwards. Ninja's looking for as much move speed as possible to get down to this bottom lane. I'm surprised we didn't see Destiny. There it is. Finally the Destiny. He will get away, and Zion Spartan's going to buy enough time. Pobelter just actually going to walk. 
There we go. Ult to the mid lane. <laughs> Follow me! But thing is, this is TDK not getting anything for the respawn. Zion's going to dive for the middle inhibitor. I don't think he's going to go get away with this. But he buys so much time. Headbutt. Pulverize going to land. Oh, he, 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 pulled, oh, he pulverized late in the combo. Charm hits, root hits. They're going to get Zion, but they built a lot of time for CLG to put, like, reset on people, <laughs> does it? <laughs> Just reset on death, which he's maybe going to get. But mid lane getting pressured out, TDK, Zion, with the Baron that they secured for themselves. Yeah, Zion splitting top, CLG is going he what can get they two can for this. with the deficit. This is a lot of pressure being built. TDK, go for the engage. If they don't win. This is the make or break fight right here. And Ninja, Ninja stunned out of the turret. In goes Dublin for Seraph. This is a break fight because here comes Zion's Emperor's on the Emperor other side. also caught out CLG. Get a massive lead, and Pobelter is on the chase. Looking for Kaz, looking for Smooth. He can't quite find the stun. He has but so there much movement, so too. much time, though. They don't need kills. They can get the base right now, man. There's no need to kill champions. Banner of Command. Banner of Command already get pushed it. to the top lane. This inhibitor surely, or at least likely, to fall. The thing is, all they're doing is stopping recalls. Afro doesn't care about these kills here. He just wants time for his team to kill them in the base. Pobelter can help, that's fine, because Doublelift is already heading up the base. He's already going to knock down these inhibitors. Only Smoothie is alive for 10 seconds here. Top inhib will go down. This Fizz is far away. They let the wave get cleared. Smoothie on the flank, but he can only stun Smithy right now. He goes for it anyway. But that tank's not going to take any damage. That's Smoothie's ult down for nothing at all. Gain Shark Emperor. Hits Emperor. He doesn't Q as doesn't seem to care. Just life stuff off the minion. Smoothie oh, goes down. Oh, oh. The ult timed out. And here comes the stun on a Kez. CLG can end the game right now. In comes Rits of Fate. He zones is right away, dodging the charm of Ari. But there's still a big fight coming across. A lot of damage coming through. Ninja will stay alive. Emperor dealing Zion. damage to the back line. Kills off Zion. That is a trade of tanks here. But here come the minions inside the base. CLG can still look to end. Double doing a ton of damage with explosive charge right now. The four Four cannot be stopped. It's like a six before with all the minions coming in. There's just not enough that TDK can do. Seraph looks for Pobelter, gets the kill. Emperor hooked in. He can kill Xpinthi though. And actually, yes, TDK getting some kills. Doublet does what he can. He gets a couple. Looks for Seraph and has Kez right there. Afro keeps him alive. A triple kill for Doublet. Can't get the fourth as the Nexus goes down to the minions and CLG wins the game. And CLG bouncing back from their 04 week before. Take down Enemy and TDK. Back to back. All right, a 2 0 week for Counter Logic Gaming. The Saturday game, definitely more convincing than the Sunday, but yeah. at least CLG move on to 9 and 5. They're part of that big tie for third right now. A sorely needed win.